With Pajule's law, we're looking at the factors that affect flow. Flow equals the change in pressure times the radius to the fourth power divided by eight times the viscosity times the length. Okay, let's look at these individual uh, factors. Pressure. The pressure is the blood pressure. If you increase the blood pressure, you're going to increase the flow. In class, we talked about um, being on well water and city water versus city water. I think that might be called utility water, but in my family, we call it city water. Okay, the flow is better if you are on utility water because it has an increase in pressure. It comes out faster. Okay, let's look at the radius. Okay, the radius of a blood vessel. A blood vessel can be constricted and a blood vessel can be dilated. Okay, you can notice that one is bigger than the other. The dilated blood vessel is much larger, so more blood would be able to flow through it. Let's look at viscosity. Viscosity is known as the thickness of blood. Viscosity is going to give water, water has an understood viscosity of one. Blood has a viscosity of three to 4.5. What can change the viscosity of the blood? Or how can the blood become thicker or thinner? Well, that's measured by the hematocrit. The hematocrit is the percentage of red blood cells. The percentage of red blood cells can be changed um, depending on whether a person has heart disease, lung disease, um, by the altitude, or how much oxygen is in the air. Remember that if the red blood cells have a decreased amount of oxygen, then the kidneys are going to secrete urethropoietin. So that would increase the hematocrit, which would make the blood thicker. If you increase the viscosity, this is going to decrease the flow of blood. Okay, the length. The length of the length of the blood vessel, let's look at the blood vessel here. Remember whenever we drew our vectors for our blood, we said that the edges or the sides of the blood vessel are going to have an increased amount of, of um, friction. Well, in a longer blood vessel, the blood's going to go through and it'll have increased friction for a longer distance. So that's going to decrease the flow. So if we increase the length, this is going to decrease the flow. So to cap this, let's erase all of this. Okay, if we want to increase the flow of blood, then we will do one of these four things. We will increase the pressure. We will increase the radius. We will decrease the viscosity. Or we'll decrease the length. Length is probably the one thing of, of these four that you can't change. 